and we're back with more Disco Elysium. Welcome back, everybody. Ooh, what do we have to do today? Well, uh, we got a couple of uh, leads about what's going on with this container painting business, I think Joyce would like to know. We're gonna have to probably make a choice between who we help between Joyce or Everart. But, uh, Joyce all the way. But more importantly, I oh. want to talk to these uh, Hardy boys. Right. The guys right, who actually right, right. run Martinez. Cause... Oh, and then that lady in front of them is their lawyer. Uh huh. Like it or not, I think we're going to have to cooperate with them on some degree if we're going to get anything done around here. And we have no authority. They have all the authority. But we're the ones who actually just has the, like, rights. You know, we're, we're, we're the special class that can allow things to happen. That is... Uh, well, uh, we're uh, like uh, the only cops in this city, aren't we? Get down there. Yeah, but those, those those workers, guys, they're the ones who really take care of Martinez because this place slips under the cracks of the RCM. And we're here basically just to bolster the the uh, egos of our higher-ups, basically. So, it is time for Hobo Cop, yes. Don't you want to go to the Whirling Rags? Why? Because you wanted to talk to the boys, right? Should I talk to them or uh, Joyce first? Oh, well, yeah, while you're down here, you might as well talk to Joyce. Hey. There may be nothing to talk to her about. You know what? Let's just go talk to the Hardy Boys. Because I think she seems pretty adamant about either we help her or she's keeping her mouth shut about a lot of things. Or we find her a badge, whichever comes first. Alright, gentlemen, let's have a chat. We're gonna get beat up. Over here. Yes. You mean yourself? Let me handle this. You seem a little different today. Less hospitable. We you? haven't even talked to her, though. That, well, yeah, we did. We got her gloves. Yesterday she was all nice and helpful and all that, but today she's all like, hey. You are oh. far from home, Lieutenant. This isn't a district known for its love of self-proclaimed militiamen. All right, well, do, do we want to be goofy or do You're not a gardener. Do, do we want to be goofy or do, do we want to be serious about this? Uh, do three. I mean, I mean no trouble. I'm just here to do my job. That's all. I mean, I'm not here to. I, who killed this guy so I can go home and try and rebuild my life or what what little of it there is. Right. Not a muscle moves in her face, but her eyes trace yours, stern and perceptive. How do you go so long without blinking? <laughs> you are looking for Titus Hardy, who you think has information on a murder the RCM is investigating. You want to interview him. Well, that sounds plausible. That's Titus. Talk to him, but know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming, nothing official. The district of Martinez does not recognize your authority to make arrests. Who Ooh. said anything about arrests? Right? We're just here to talk. So we're just here. We're literally just here to talk. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest. Yeah. If we have to. This is why I want to have we're Kim cops. Here. Of course, I, I do think. I want to start doing some things when Kim's not around. Well, don't we have to send him off to put yep. the, the corpse at that one place? But we can, like, do it, like, an hour before bedtime, and it'll still count, and he'll be back the next day. <laughs> she says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. Could this be the Miss Beaufort that Easy Leo mentioned? The one Mr. Everett sent to law school? Are you Lizzie? Uh, Elizabeth? Uh, Miss Beaufort. I suggest not wasting time on trivial pleasantries and focusing on why you are actually here. Titus Hardy. Even though she has excellent control over herself, something moves behind her eyes, in the way she stands, in her face. Easy Leo told me about you. He, he, likes, he likes to talk a lot. You are not here to chat up the legal counsel. You are here to question these men. 
what if I want to talk to you, yeah. not Titus? I mean, I talk to everybody. I'm a talker. I'm just a, I'm just a big old talker. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah, I want to talk to everybody. I talk to everybody who has a dialogue tree. Do you got a dialogue tree? I'm going to exhaust the crap out of that. Why are you what so you want is of no significance, officer. Why are you Don't so aggressive? In my <coughs> name, you are no one. Why are you so aggressive? Yeah, really. Aggressive? You make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock workers. Hmm. So you were spying on us, and now you represent murder suspects. Just dock workers. <laughs> Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishol. Twenty fat men in the Occident are stealing it all, and you're their bodyguard. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> no one asked you! So ask not, well, not yet, anyway. Ask, or get back to your commanders. Uh. It's time for a, for a political question. It's like, where where is this land on? Where does it land us on this game's political compass? I like that. So needs a financial buffer zone. Un it's cool and funny. No. The RCM is principled <coughs> and strong. <laughs> Armed uprising. <laughs> He's all kind of suck. It's like, man, yeah. I just want, I just want to talk. Like, ugh. all right, uh, fucking armed uprising, whatever. Yeah, what, yeah. Look, a comedian, do your job, ask your questions, then get out of Martinez. Oh my God. Okay. Strange. It's as if people don't believe a cop could be a socialist revolutionary. What are you going to do to me? Hmm. What are we going to do to you? <laughs> the union isn't going to uh. do anything to you. It is not a crime syndicate. It is a labor organization. Uh -huh. Goddamn right it is. Oh my god. If anything, <laughs> it is the RCM who do things to people. But we digress. Like, I want to sidebar with with Kim and go, I should is, talk to is, is, is it true? Are we bad? Are we bad people, Kim? Do we hurt people? Oh, please tell me it's not true, yeah. Kim. I can't put that on my conscience. Yeah. There's too much of it. I can't take it. Come on. Yeah, no. Yeah, we do. All right, I just talked to Titus then. Yeah, Mr. Titus. Mr. Titus. Titus, man. How's it going? Mr. Titus. Hello. This is where you say your bed. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, a man my walks bed. out. Man walks down the street and he sees a dog in the middle of the road. And he's like, oh my god, there's a dog in the middle of the road. And the dog's like, yep. And he's like, oh my god, it's, it's talking dog in the middle of the road. And the yep. dog's like, yep, I'm talking dog in the middle of the road. And he's like, oh, what, are the, what chance of that? And then he does a little dance and he does a little hop. And then they all dance and then they all become happy friends. Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> well, Some sir. Bit. <laughs> Detective. Okay. Uh, don't say anything yet. All right, look. Let's don't say anything yet. Hey, hey, dipshit. You hard of hearing or something? The boss man's talking to you. What? The boss man? Oh! Do no. let their squeals disturb your serenity. These are but simple peasants, sire. These are simple peasants. The chatter is too inane to reach your ears. Raise your chin and gaze into the distance like a prince. What, is he fucking kidding? Is this guy high or something? <laughs> I want them to not even understand. Like, they cannot perceive. See, ever since we met that rich guy who we couldn't perceive, I've been thinking yeah. about how, how do I want to be perceived? I want people to completely not be able to read me at all. Uh -huh. My unconventional technique. You don't know what I'm gonna do. The Not light, even me. The light bending guy. Yesterday I was just a man who was drowning in alcohol. Today I am a hobo cop. A drowning. super hobo cop. Still drowning in alcohol, but at least the water's only way steep now. Hey asshole, up here. We're talking to you. We are looking for Titus Hardy. All right. We need to talk about the man hanged out back. Oh, this is about him. I am a hooker. That won't. I wonder if they just hired some UK guy to sound like an, an American trucker. It's like, oh, hey there. It's, he sounds like a guy who, from Ride to Hell. <laughs> you know how to move, Tony. You sure took your time, huh? 
waited for him to get real right. Just a bunch of people who you. live in the. Oh, he was a real What's the trailer boy. park that you hanging up there, like letting invade out in uh, GTA Five? Oh uh, yeah, whatever that. <laughs> I remember that was. I can't, for the life of me, understand why you did it. I mean, I would have just left him up there. You must really like cleaning up. You would have just left him shit. up there? Okay. He just he just thrown his dick around like look look at us. We can leave a dead body up there <coughs> and not even, you know, answer to it because we're that powerful fear of us. Like what? You might want to start asking your questions now. It's not going to get better than this. Let's scan the room. I mean it's clear that we're kinda of wasting his time. It's like, alright, alright, answer your questions. And yep. we're just I mean, we're just like Waste his time more. Mm, let's scan the room. No, no, no. I was here. You got business with my boys. You got business with me. But they're talking <laughs> to me. I understood what you were doing. Taking in. Yeah, they're talking to me. So yeah. you know, who's that guy over there? With the Hardy boys, you fuck with Titus Hardy. Relax, Dennis. No one is fucking you yet. <laughs> That's not really anything else. Yeah. Dennis, I don't know if I'm gonna go that down. route or not. No one's fucking you, you stupid fuck. No. <laughs> Let Dennis enjoy his fucking man. We don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even being fucked, Dennis. Easy. This fellas. is just. <laughs> we got company. Let's see what brings the cop around. Hey, it's okay. Your boys did all the work for me. Too late. You already scanned the room. You got a pretty good picture. A, a picture of what? Of the actors here. You could take another look at the tracks in the mud. Uh -huh. On the crime scene. Compare it to these guys. Oh, 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 oh. Come back here. Did you I'm gonna it? take off now. <coughs> Did you do it? Lead. That's a lead. That's that's. Uh, I, 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 I could be something. I know boots. It could be something. Crime, 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 crime. Clues, clues, clues. <laughs> Come on, Kim. There's no time to waste. Is he still out here? He is. He just lives in this spot. All right. So what is this? There are several footprints in the mud. Okay. Left by so calculus, maybe uh, they're one of six to the Hardy Boys boot prints. We got a good idea about how many people there were now, so we can probably get a better clue as to how. That's like seventy-two percent, right? Yeah, that's pretty we high. Can do that. That's we pretty high. That. that should be. Yeah. yeah. All right. That was back and forth straight in the two mud. sixes too. Where else have we seen a gang of men in work boots? Oh, look at all that's of them. That's right. The Hardy Boys in the mess hall of We put down the little markers, I love that. So we have eight pairs of boots then. Let's go over them one by one. One. Detective time. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46. Just like Titus was wearing in his booth. This is the big dick. Titus Hardy. The one with the ball cap on his head. Interesting. Is it? They didn't even bother to change boots. Putting them on the scene. Is easy, maybe even too easy. too easy. Let's keep counting. Two standard work boot, steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Either the blonde muscular guy, Glenn, or the young guy with a plectrum around his neck. Mm -hmm. Three hobnailed work boot, steel reinforced toes. Number 43. The inked banger, perhaps. Four standard <laughs> work boot. Number 45. Or 46. Theo, the old smoker. You think you even see a tiny fleck of cigarette ash inside the print. Chain smoking always gives you away. Yep. Five. Another standard work boot. Reinforced toes. Number 44. Same as before. Either the musician Kuna Eugene, in the background or the muscle bound blonde me. Glenn. Six. Light as air. Same make of boot. But number 41, small like a rat, shanky. I should have gotten this earlier. Better late than never, detective. The whole world is dark and the tracks burn in it with strange beauty. Aw, let's count the rest. Seven, the glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46. The imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Fat Angus, carrying something? And the last one? Eight. Another Ooh. standard work boot. 
Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the soul. The right soul is smoother, more worn. Curious. A missing eighth Hardy Boy. Seven sets of tracks, right? The Hardy Boys were here. Eight. Eight, actually, actually. yeah. That's all? Interesting. Then one of them seems to be missing. Uh -huh. Anything else out of the ordinary? Note to self. This would be a good question to ask Titus. Where's the eighth man? An aberration. One soul is smoother than the other. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Old I wouldn't soul. be surprised if this was the missing Hardy Boy. Wonder who he is. Have any ideas, Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? So one of these people are looking we're looking for is a drummer? No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for <laughs> We're drummer. not looking for a drummer. Okay. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Hmm. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See or... whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Yes, prudent. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a guy that moves crates around? There's some other things. Light step, number 41 shoe. I'm guessing that's the skinny hardy boy. The one with his front teeth missing. <laughs> you mean the rat-faced one? Yes, well, he did look a bit like a rat. You're right. Do you think those prints belong to him? Yes. I could still be wrong, but I'm probably not. There's a heavy one, 200 kilogram imprint. 200? This could be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up. Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built armored man. Huh. Maybe it was a fat hardy boy, the one sitting in the middle. He might be right. 200 kilograms so he of would living hold, weight is unlikely. He'd hold the, uh, the dead guy up? Maybe it was a giant. Maybe it wasn't. Was. Maybe it was. Just imagine it. A giant man at least two and a half meters tall. It could have been, but if it wasn't... You're right. The fat guy from the booth was carrying the victim. Probably, yes. This would also fit with the victim. But it'd be cool if it's like... It's like, you know, like... Because he could no longer walk. Then again, the footprint would be a lot bigger. Yeah. Damn it. <sighs> well, not necessarily. Is there you anything have little feet as a giant? here? How old do you think these tracks are? I mean, it's a few days. A week, maybe? And it's been raining. Seven days too. would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. How do you know? I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashot. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. So Mother Nature has, was actually on our side. It preserved the footprints for yeah. us. Yeah. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. So what do you think happened here? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here Except and looked at the tree. It's not. It's not because he was shot. But we know the victim had a bullet in his head. A more precise way to put it is it was made to look like a lynching. We've been purposefully misled? Yep. By these tracks? Yes. Well, we've been through all of it then. Okay, now I think we can talk to the party boys. Got a little bit of... Uh, you, miss! What if I can talk to her? Oh, I think you have to get up on the roof. I forgot how to get up on the roof. We'll go upstairs. Let's figure it out. It's gotta be one of these doors, right? Or no, that's Tim's door. Maybe it's part of her room. See if we can get through her room. I don't think we, we can get in her room. We'll try it anyway. I think we can knock and say, hey, make fools of ourselves, but... 
The door is closed. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. Damn. Yeah. There's no other secret doors there. No. Like this time. Oh well. I think it's part of her room. Well, in case things go south, let's make another quick save. Hello again. Looks like the circus left him, but the clowns are still here. Haha, ha, good one, sir. Anyway, I got some more questions. <laughs> I found eight sets of footprints, but there's only seven of you. Where's the eighth hardy boy? What are you talking about, madman? There's no eighth hardy boy. There's seven of us, and we're all here. Or what? You want to be the eighth hardy boy? We ain't hardy. No, not really. Actually, boss, we've been talking and we think she could maybe... Yes, Glenn? She? So uh -huh, there's an she. eighth hardy and it's a hardy girl? Uh-huh. Who might it be? Elizabeth? The gardener? Shut the fuck up, Glenn! I do the talking here. Now what the fuck do you want, cop? It has to be good if he won't yep. let you it's pursue her. Looks like the lieutenant thinks so, too. Mm. So, let me get this straight. There is an eighth hardy boy. It's a she, and you don't like us talking about her? See what happens when you communicate. We get things done so much more efficiently. That's right. We're not talking about this. This is a private hardy boy's matter. Nothing to do with your shit. And you're not cops here. Don't yes. go digging around. We don't are. Don't a bullet in the back of your head. I'm watching you. Sorry, sir, but I am apparently a police officer with apparently a death wish and nothing to he lose. He just and threatened us. Nothing to lose and nothing to gain. So here I go. Good. We are all watching each other. Officer, your question. All right, let's just uh, fire Did it you off. do it? Did you do it? The pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. Well, it is kind of why, you know, why we're here. I mean, you go to Paris... You kind of talk about the Eiffel Tower a lot. Maybe, right. maybe a few restaurants, but the conversation will come back to that tower at some point, I'm sure. Mm. We're here if for my partner the money. and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. I've spoken to the dead man in a bizarre occult vision. That is fucking bizarre. A magic man. A goddamn <laughs> magician. Now, try to understand. Try to understand. Try, try, try to understand. I'm a magic man. The lieutenant waits for your reply. Patiently. His foot taps only a little. Don't worry, Kim. It's gonna be a spike into his he face. He said they killed yeah. him. These uninitiated do not understand the fineries of runic science. Tell me it was you who killed him. Why is that? He, he said, said communism, communism killed him. That's right. Well... What you chat me up for then? Go Don't arrest communism. communism. <laughs> skips town. Trust me, Mr. Hardy. We have an APB for communism. Yeah. Go arrest communism. We had something else besides the occult vision. So why is there a container belt around the dead man's neck? Container belt, like we use in the harbor. Yes. Why? Because we took it from the harbor. Where we work. Then we went out back and used it to hang him. There you go. We did this together, all of us, until he was. Dead. Well, arrest everyone. See, there, I don't, there we go. See, I don't he believe that. Around his neck. So that's not what happened. There's a catch hidden somewhere. He didn't confess so that you could take them all away. Yeah, he didn't say it's anything about simple. shooting them. But there's a catch. There is no catch. These seven honest men have all equally come forth to tell you what happened. Oh, so that no. you don't waste any more of your time. All seven together. They're diluting responsibility. It's an anti-arrest tactic. Yep. So, this is what yeah, I'm... you murder him just like that. No more. See, this is what I'm keeping in my back pocket. So, we're going to go ahead and say, you, just, you, you, you murdered him just like that. No remorse. This is where we like, do, you know, where uh, we we do the pacing and the the telephoto lens start going around in law and order and uh, yeah and the <laughs> starts playing. <laughs> nice, he's like, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? 
<laughs> and he's like, no, I did not do it! No remorse. And then Stable just fucking tackles him and starts beating the shit out of him. You murdered him just like that. You murdered him, so you murder him just like that. No remorse. How many people have you sent to the Shays? Ever felt remorse for them? They've only killed three people. Shays Electrique is the method of capital punishment in Revachon under the coalition. During the Suzerain's reign, it used to be the firing squad. Or send them to reunion to rot. For 20 years. For life. Honestly, I drink so much I can't really remember anyone I've left I've sent behind bars. Doesn't remember them. He just forgets. <laughs> Are you hearing this, Titus? He Me just you forgets. Just keeping a stiff catalog in your head. That's for sure. So who called the shots that night? Are you dead? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a Hardy Boy without arresting all Hardy Boys. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? Yeah, if they did it. Question. Don't let her lead the conversation. No, but seriously, who calls the shots around here? <laughs> who do you fucking think does? The eighth hardy boy. It's the eighth hardy boy. The one who's missing. The big dick. Titus, no one was thinking that there's any question who's the leader. That's how he would have ended it. Titus won't let him. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck no. The big dick is right here, asshole. You're looking at it. Right. Uh, I don't think so. Here. So that's it? That's your big dick? Oh, I'd ask for a refund. <laughs> Disregard the outburst, officer. None of the boys have any comments on their power relations. That when night, did they this act as one? Occur? That's all. Okay, okay, fine. Let's 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 step away from who did what. Let's just talk about the when. Got any like a time frame around whatever? I know it was a week ago, but maybe, you know, the more info, the better. You don't have to keep answering his questions. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. Seems like a good way to end the week. How long have you known him? Known him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. You are just a beautiful little songbird, Glenn. Yeah! Who do you think we are? And you're his mate. <laughs> Quiet. He came around about three weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Mm. Heavy. So Joyce knows him. By hmm. the Pines cow. You mean Joyce Messier, the representative for White Lions? Why is she Isn't hiring mercenaries? Gains? No. Probably I because of the drug Pines stuff. She cow. hates it. The stupid ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. But you know what? Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. Well, she's probably just gonna, you know. Just shut up and say, not without your badge, or not without helping me, so that's a dead end. That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer, your interview is drawing to an end. No, don't I don't think Don't waste your last so. questions. Why'd you kill him? Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out of line in my town. So he was a mercenary, that's it? I am. He stepped out of line. What kind of mercenary? What kind of line? What, yeah, what kind the of kind line? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Semenini written all over him. ex oranese special forces. Ah, so basically to Union Bust they sent fucking uh, Colonel Volgan. A live grenade. Right here in our bar. I can't prove it, but I see that's a cool thing about you, Hardy Boys. You see, you all seven of you act as one, but you all got seven mouths that just love to talk Sorry, and give me information. Yeah, from here to Samara. Clearly, there's like about what three brains between all of you, maybe. All right, so, uh, how did you even know he was in special forces? Because one night he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm on these goddamn special forces. And I'm gonna fuck you all! 
Uh, oh, did he say that? That that that, that, that would do you it. You got really? proof? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some Arnie's paratrooper song, and said he's gonna fuck everyone. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did, right there, like some kind of animal. Huh? Sire, the tale is true. This is a serious violation of the karaoke code. What? Okay, besides crimes against karaoke, what did he actually do wrong? Wrong? He harassed women, raped one, harassed workers, yeah. threatened to kill some as a warning. From rape, to harassment, to threats of violence. Why the strange de-escalation? Hmm. Usually it'd be like, you know, threats of violence, then harassing, even fucking rape somebody. Yeah. I regrets mentioning it. I'd say, where's all your proof of this? They kill us all. If we don't open the gates. If we don't let the scabs in. If we don't bend over. And that was before he started coming here. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. He decided to come in here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls, grab one of our mid karaoke right there on the stage. I hope they're not mistaking my Now behavior. he's doing all these other things. It sounds like it, like it sounds like they're trying to out douchebag us. He grabbed someone. Yeah. This girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl, young. Gets into the second verse of Love a Lake. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? <sighs> then he gets knocked on the head oh with a God. wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down. It's the same girl. Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Yeah, me and you, G. So got who right. got? Aren't you okay. I don't think they can keep their story straight. There's something odd here. Drama's right. Seems like they don't want to talk about that rape Titus mentioned. Why not? This is a serious allegation. Yeah. Make them talk about it. Okay, yeah. right, but who did he rape then? This is a very serious allegation. No, you're not getting a name. That's a Martinez matter, and I'm not discussing it with you. Why too. not? Okay, all right, fine. All right. There's nothing you can do for now. He's stonewalling you. Okay. How'd you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck until he got uh -huh. real still. Hanged him by his neck until he got real proper. still. Did you get that, Kim? Did you write that down? Did you scratch that down in your notebook, Kim? Did you write that down, my friend, good Kim? He's, he's not writing anything down. Well, you should write that down, Kim, that he said that they hung him until he was dead. And that's what happened, isn't my friend? That's what he fucking did. Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school? The hey, cop look, school? Do you hear this? Hey, look at that. We've got a corroborating witness. Again, I love all your talking, lovely songbird mouths that just tell me everything all the time. The autopsy showed there were no ligature marks. His hands were not tied. Can you explain that? The lieutenant goes in for the leg sweep. Titus <laughs> the leg sweep. Oh, trust me. I got the Metz Hadouken right here coming up. <laughs> um, we... <sighs> look, I'm not gonna... 20 questions with you, Capo. I'll say it again. We killed him. I don't think Okay, you well, did. Yeah. when you I go on you trial, they're going to fucking ask you all these questions again, and you're going to have to answer them. Okay, now you're saying you knocked him out. What? You still can't get your story straight. That's right. Okay. More uncomfortable first, then see if it all adds up. Do it. All right. Let's make him feel a bit more comfortable. <coughs> Mr. Tats, what did you use to knock the victim out? My fucking elbow copper. Samaran boxing a style. Samaran boxing, or uh -huh. sambo, is an eloquently violent set of one-on-one -on -one fighting moves originating from a samaran isola. Sambo style implies stealth, cleverness, and cool. He may be lying, but he's good at it. No twitching, no rushing, no okay. uncalled for oh, shit. details. Okay. W w all right, where did all this action take place? Because I looked at the footprints out there, I didn't see anything about, you know, 
Didn't see anything about him getting hit by nothing. So where where was all this? Yeah. Was, that, was that the harbor? Then you took him at the harbor from the belt, and then you did that? Right fucking here. Oh, right fucking so here, huh? Guard, is that the true? They started coming to our bar. Yeah, man. You Are see? there any cameras in this fucking place? Things are things aren't quite right here, are they? Titus is solid as a rock, and so are a few others. Oh. All right. There's a few who are sticking their guns, and there's a few that aren't. Who's cracking under the pressure? Who, who's? Tell me who's solid first. Who, who do we? Who do we not look at? La, who looks like he might be Titus's right hand man, mm -hmm. the least yeah. fancy of the bunch. Definitely not his first time being questioned by the police. He, he seems too like professional. He looks like. Uh, a cross between Batman's butler, Al I was gonna Alfred, say, I was just gonna say that, yes. And the guy from Ratatouille who's like, I once killed a man with this with thumb. With this thumb, yes. Except it was an elbow to them, and he fortunately didn't kill him. Or maybe rather, unfortunately. <laughs> this little rat faced fellow is solid, too. Always fidgety, yes, but no change there. Uh, yes, milk toast middle aged Trevor from GTA 5. I was gonna say he looks like Trevor too. Yeah, I gave up my like ambition. Skinnier Trevor. See, I did Trevor Phillips Industries and got rich, and then all the money went to fucking 2K. <laughs> now I live a simple life here in false Estonian France. <laughs> trying to make a living for myself. And the meth is cheap too. Him neither. Mostly well, don't tell electrochemistry that. Whatever he's got there. Alright, so it's Eugene, Shanky, and Elaine. Probably also Titus, because he's, you know, the big stone wall, literally. So who's cracking? Uh huh. Hey, you! You having trouble breathing over there? No. Uh-oh. He's mm -hmm. sweating under the pressure. Of course he's having trouble breathing. Just look at how fucking fat he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kim, do you see how fucking fat he is? Are you writing this down, Kim? Are you writing this down how fucking fat he is? Yes? Hmm? <laughs> Fuck off, Shanky. Angus is a powerful guy. All muscle. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but okay. So why does the game call him Fat Angus then if he's all muscle? Keep your it's eye ironic, on this okay. guy. Sooner or later, he's going to break like a piece of twig. Something you're not telling me. And fuck you, too, copper. Picking on Angus like this. You're the one who called him fucking fat. What? No, shit. I wasn't picking on him, really. And just so you know, he doesn't have trouble breathing. This one is a stone wall. You won't get more out of them about the night of the murder. Not yet. Right, uh, I have other questions about the lynching, if you don't mind. Like what, copper? You know, there's just... You know, this is where, like, you know, we uh, take, like, a, pro a Professor Layton, uh, you know, uh, uh, Blanc, uh, uh, Blanc and Blanc look at everything. Yeah. Like, now let's just take a step back here. Ever since I came here, I knew that there was something about that body hanging up there. It wasn't the fact that it was hanging like a, an expired tomato, no. It was something inside of him. That just kept digging at me. And like it dug into him. So tell how me. The bullet? How does the bullet in his head factor into this? Huh? Oh. Huh? You didn't know. Huh? Did you not know about this? Because even with my alcohol addled brain and not remembering, you know, if spring comes after or before summer, still kind of trips me up. <laughs> Even I knew about the bullet in his head. What do you think? I am some kind of stupid? No, I don't know where my badger gun is. There was a bullet in the dead man's brain. Why was it there if you hang him? Uh, did you just want to make sure? How the fuck do I know? Anyone could have shot him. Target. What? Maybe. Interesting, sir. It's as if he's lying. Nope. To protect someone. He's not very good at it. Could it be it's the not eighth hardy? Could it be the eighth hardy that they're trying to protect? Yeah. This line of questioning is over. You got the cause of death already. Hanging. It's not the cause of death. If there's any postmortem trauma, it's your problem. 
This will not turn into a cross-examination. You do not want to provoke them, so I'm going to back off on that line. So, so like, what now? Where does that leave us? Nothing. Your investigation here is What? Done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Yeah. Some things don't add up here, Titus. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent-a-cop is gonna hear from us. Rent-a-cop, listen to this. Officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. You still haven't explained the bullet I found in the hangman's head. You still on about that bullet? A bullet in a hangman's head. You're right, copper. That is mighty curious. Indeed, mighty. How did it get there? Well, there are so many bullets in the world, and so many heads. Oh my god, this dude is stupid as shit. Man, you guys are, you guys got poker faces like it's go fish. <sighs> Guess it sounded illogical. At some point, one wow. of bullets had to end his up intelligence. One of them heads. You know, I'm gonna try that murder defense in court one day. It's like, well, you know, there's it's only so many bullets in the world, and you know, just, fifteen of them just happen to end up into his head for calling me a very rude name. Green bean dick. I don't know. Just didn't sit well with me. I had to kill I had to kill him. <laughs> Sire, it would be an event most dramatic if you were to produce the bullet and dangle it before their very eyes. They'll snatch it from me if I do that. Yeah. I think the hanging was a cover-up for the shooting. You know what I think? I think he was shot in the head as a kid. And his brain grew around the bullet. I don't think so. Speaking from experience, sir? Around the bullet, man. That's a good one. <laughs> Even he's like, that's a good one. You... Really? It's a technique. All right, did you guys shoot him? Shit! I probably did shoot him. I was drunk last night. You guys know me when I'm drunk. You just yeah, shoot people like when you're drunk? Okay. When he's drunk. Better hope he stays sober. No, he meant before he was hanged. Did you shoot him before you hanged him? Before? After? During? This is getting ridiculous. They told you what happened. Stop wasting your time. No. Don't worry. We'll figure this out sooner or later. Never Bye. Never been worried in my life, lawman. I think you're too stupid to know what worry is. So don't worry. Oh, wait. You can't, stupid. Ha! Got him. Ace is high. And Kim doesn't respond. Yeah. It's not like you blew it wide open. But there's a little crack in there. Somewhere. I'm going to take off now. Dick. So, how are we looking? We got one skill point. We have the one soul point in authority. But there's something that is reducing it. So maybe like just... What? So maybe just maybe... Just pop into the invent whole inventory here. What is reducing our authority? Hmm. Oh. You just, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. The glasses. The glasses, of course. So how about the Inland Empire glasses, then? Oh, yeah. It's like, hang on. Kim, let me change glasses. I'm about to show this guy. Who he's fucking with? <laughs> he's like, I can't wait to see this. Looks like the circus left town. All right, we'll the try a couple of times. I don't want to spend too much time on this. There could be some things that'll help us establish authority better. Establish authority. Yes. <laughs> authority. Feverish. <laughs> <thought. laughs> wow. All of these are gold. Wait. I'm really thinking when this town's going to hell and you're not helping. <laughs> First you tell me someone's going to rape and you don't say who. That's, That's bullshit! That's bullshit! I hate you! That's bullshit! Dude. Why don't you tell me? 
Kim, I need your gun. Kim, I need your gun. <laughs> this is not what he thinks it is. This is a great idea. Yeah, everybody, calm down. This is the only demonstration. Kim, the gun, please. The Kim, the gun, please. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, I don't want to give you my gun. I don't want to give you my gun. Titus? What are they whispering about? Easy, Shanks. I want to see where this is going. Trust me, Kim, I am merely flesh. Trust me, Kim, I am merely flesh. Merely what? <laughs> merely... Good. Now put it in your mouth. <laughs> put the barrel no, in your mouth. No, no! <gasps> <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Genuine panic flies across the lieutenant. <gasps> oh, shit! You're scaring <laughs> Kim! You getting any of this? These are my thoughts. This is my... <laughs> I'm going to kill myself now, you fucking whore! Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! <laughs> we killed ourselves! No shit! Woo! Poor Kim! He's gonna be traumatized for life. It's like, Kim, give me your gun. I got this, pal. Don't worry, I got this. Fuck you! <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was that was getting some crazy stuff though. Let's Holy see. shit! Let's see what else what happens when we uh, fail the authority check. Oh, that was amazing. Ooh, boy. What did you do in Disco Elysium today? Oh, I fucking killed myself. That's all. All right. Establish authority. Yes. Do the first authority. you no first you tell me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Act like a petulant child. Yes. <laughs> That's bullshit. Stop shitting your pants. <laughs> you need to know, all right. We took care of it. The law handled it. All right. Yeah. Aren't you listening? You're not the law. It's I am the law. Finito. I guess we're both the law around here. If you start to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> the no asshole. You're nobody. I'm. I don't think Stop so. Stop yelling about the goddamn law in my establishment. We get <laughs> it. You're all the law. Let's just all cool up. You're all we the law. That it. didn't go so well. Oh. <laughs> I want you to tell me your brother who got raped. You're not being fair. No. Looks like the circus left town. Looks like the circus the left town. <laughs> Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Yeah, you guys gonna get in your car anytime soon? What's up, Kim? What's up, Kim? Uh, what's up? It's so. Uh, what's up? Established authority. Yes. All right, Kim, I need your gun. Why? This is not what. This is a demonstration. Give me the gun. The fuck? Easy, Shanks. Trust me, Kim. I'm really flush. Be careful. Good. Now put it in your mouth. But I want to point it at. Oh, but I want to point it at them. What are Why you are you doing, doing this again? Flies across the <laughs> Fellas, you getting any of this? You will never forget what happens in five seconds if you don't respect me. These are my thoughts. This is my head. What in the name of motherfuck? Acidic taste on your lips. Corrosive. Once as a child, you put your tongue against the rail. Ugh. It was winter. That was a long time ago. The fuck is he saying? Some insane shit. <gasps> Give me the gun. Two. 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 You will never forget what happens in five seconds if you don't respect me! Bellas, the cop is really threatening to off himself. This is insane. No, that is not what is happening. <laughs> this show is unnecessary. Give, Give me, me my, my gun, gun now. No. He's desperately trying to offer a counter narrative. There is none. I'm not fucking this case up. You will respect me! We'll solve the case. Look at me. Don't worry. This demonstration is not helping. Oh Don't. my god, Kim is so Inside the scared. Small mechanism, you can hear a spring tensing up. Yeah. Because I sort of wanna see that shit. 
<laughs> you won't, man. His fucking balls ain't big enough. Oh, yeah? <laughs> He's not gonna offer Yeah, himself. do it. Come on. No. He'll do it. Go ahead, son. Three. Two. Who the fuck is Theo? Kisses, kisses. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of set it up for myself, I mean. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I thought I thought it would give him a bit of a whoa. I think I think they're more like whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. All right. What? What? One more shot. Then we'll try another. another Looks like the circus lift down. Very good in the morning is usually so. All right. Establish authority. Let's go. Establish it's only like two o'clock in the afternoon, yes. which is when authority. people usually start drinking. Fever's thoughts race through your mind. All right, let's try let's try the two angle here. I'm the only thing keeping this town from going to hell, and you're not helping. And what exactly is it you've been doing that's so goddamn special? Shitting yourself in front of us, going around, harassing kids on the street. Kids. What, Kuno? All the while Please. talking racist shit. Don't think we aren't watching fascia. People here trust us. We're getting complaints. Most of them might be from me. Fascia. That's short for fashion. Yeah, yeah, we know. We got that. <laughs> there aren't any kids. I'm not shitting so myself. Saying, and I do want to believe you, but it's getting harder and harder. Eve, didn't Carly say something? No. Uh -oh. Man, talking to these guys hurts. Carly said you've been hanging around the daycare center. In the bushes, man. By the jungle gym. Trying to set up some weird field trip. To your station. That's in your home. What? I can believe that. That rings true to me. Carly works in the kindergarten, right? There is no Carly, and there is no kindergarten. Really? What so the so fuck? We are getting derailed. Please stop hanging around the jungle gym. Whatever you're doing there is making you look awful, and it's not helping you with the... Okay, I'm going to take off now. We got nothing to, to get these guys right yeah, now. Yeah, no. We're going to need a lot more points in authority, and we have barely any points in authority, so we're on our own on this one, it sounds like. Why don't you go recycle them bottles? You know, I think I will. We have. Well, we can look at these guys and see if there's like any missing eighth guy. Looking for something? I know you've been giving me the runaround. Fess up. Where's the lady driver? I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell me which ones are Lori. Listen up, fuckwits. You don't scare me. You cops don't run Revachel West. You don't run Martinez. You don't run anything. So who so does? You? No. He means la puta madre. A legendary. And not in a good way. Crime boss from Jamrock. Controls what is probably oh. the most powerful organized oh. crime outfit in mm. Revachol West. <laughs> yeah, him. Cross your arms and nod. I think we've lost this one. Then I presume you are familiar with his peonies. Yeah, they're his little bitches. He's <laughs> got them bitches. all over the unions. Not just the unions. He has peonies everywhere. Some say he even has them in the RCM. I wouldn't be surprised about that. Do anything for him. Multi ethnic drug addicts. Yeah, that's right. Came out again on this action. Drug the lords Lieutenant usually Dr. have Rodentine some cops quality. in their pocket. Be cool, sire. He's getting into this. Let's just say nothing. You're not peonies. You wouldn't be investigating a drug thing if you were. No, of course not. We are not peonies. But if we were, and one of Madre's drivers were to be stealing from him, then it's a good peony's job to find out who that is. He's surprisingly good at this. Ooh, not bad at all. Wow, yeah. really? Look at him lurching. It's not a hard job. It won't take a long time. It won't make Padre Madre angry. But a stupid fucking racist is standing in the way, protecting this fucking thief. I'm Ooh. not scared of you or the mob. I'm under the protection of the Loriman and Carter's guild. So? God, it's one of the most irritating things about this game. 
It's like, aha, what about this? He's like, no, that's not true because of something political that's made up in this world. It's uh -huh. like, you, you can't harm me. I'm part of the Lori Men and Carters Guild. Oh, no, you have it's no like, business what's here. what's that mean? I'm, I'm part of the Rivishall Unions Guild. Oh, no, you got no, you have no, uh, no. Just... You've seen that corpse in the ceramic It's armor. It's just an entire Did Pascal's sock of him. fucking organizations and groups. Did his and... shitty little guild protect him, really? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you wouldn't just... Leave him out there if you... Oh, no. We're, we're having a statement here. Oh, hey, yeah. Who do you think bought me the drinks, man? <laughs> he didn't buy me drinks to get me drunk. He bought me drinks to keep me busy. To let people know you don't fuck with Padre Madre. The lieutenant turns and gives you a barely perceptible nod. Be careful. This man still got some fight in him by the looks of it. Uh. It would be easy to break him. It's not impossible. All right, half light, right? We got two there. Anything that can help or hurt? Wait. No, I don't think we have anything half for light. that. I've never seen anything for that yet. Yeah, you're right. Well, let's try it a couple times, see what we get. Save scum? Yep. Looking for something? The main <gasps> thing is to not. Overdo Failure. Even when Look, I'm sorry, can you just tell me what you know? <laughs> Make me run. <laughs> Alright, try again. <laughs> he just, just start crying when he says no. <laughs> it's like, tell me what you know. No. <laughs> Please. The little bag in our hand is filled with bottles <laughs> so we can the sell them. Is... Make Holy shit. We got this. We Co can do this. A couple more times. I don't want to spend too much time on this. It's... Looking for something? Come on. The main ah! thing. Uh, Alright. That's three. One more time. No, two more times. Five times. Three, two, one. Yes. So, Looking this will be two. For something? Men like oh! oh! We did it! Like two things. Strength. Show me her lorry right fucking now. Where is it? Show me her lawyer right fucking now. The lady driver's lawyer. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah! You, I told you, I'm not gonna. There. His voice grows smaller. I'm gonna as yours. fuck you the rest of my life. <laughs> What's your name, fuckhead? I'm gonna go on the police radio saying this guy told Marvin Dory to fuck off! Look, fuck you, man. It's a lorry down there. Green banged up thing. How hard was that? That's all you is. had to say. When did she go away? I don't know. I don't even know her name. She just rules with the fleet and acts like a big shot. Some dyke, probably. I haven't even seen her for days. Where exactly is her lorry? Past the monument. Down there. The Green Temple. Now leave me the fuck alone. Don't okay? punch him anyway. A small temple by the monument. Green. Let's Take a smoke. Got a smoke? No. No. Oh, right, I'm leaving. Got a smoke. <laughs> Just keep saying it. Got a smoke? Got a smoke? Got a smoke? <laughs> it's like, you tell me where she is right now, or I'm gonna shove my fist so far down your throat, I'm gonna rip your entire goddamn guts out! Now you tell me right now where she fucking is! Got, Got a smoke? smoke? No. Okay. This. Well, wait. We we're gonna sell the stuff in our bag. Right, yes, of course. Anything in here? Hey! Ooh, magnesium! It's like everything wants to hurt me today in, in, in my psyche. Um, is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. Oh, wait, it's over here. The uh -huh. machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals ten cents. Hell yeah! I get a whole three bucks from this if that. Your bottles hey, almost the four. And the money appears. Let's say we got like nineteen engine. bottles. You're one hundred percent sure you've got special hobo cop money. Yes. For that tier. At least one hundred percent extra tear money. Hey, if the hell yeah! The told you otherwise. It's a lie. Hobo cop money bonus. Hell yeah. Let's give this lady driver a little talking to.
She was that old lady that we talked to earlier, right? I was saying, like, is that the same one? What are you doing, man? Yeah, past the monument. This screen found A to Z, Contempora, is parked in the shadow of the ruins looming overhead. It's seen better days. This must be the one he told us about, unless he was naive. He can window. The glass on the side windows is tinted and covered with dust. You can barely make out the shape of a seat and two steering levers. The door is locked. Son the of a bitch. looks shiny, like it's of recently it replaced. Doesn't surprise me at all. There's no picking this lock. The owner has put special care into it. It's a recessed design. How are we gonna get this open, Kim? Use the pry bar to smash the window. Open it from the inside. Really? This has been hard enough. No need to make it any harder. True. I, I'm, whatever you say there, you're the boss, man. I'm just gonna put it up in your capable hands. Okay, uh, tools, uh, it's pry bar. Okay, uh, anything that we could help with the physical instrument? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, anything that's harming physical instrument? Hang on, right, physical, physical instrument. Oh, I'm so excited that you're that you're okaying this, Kim. I'm just, you, you never tell me to do anything fun. Right. Okay, uh, physical, physical instrument. Okay, we, we're getting a bonus actually. Okay, good. All right, all right, cool. We got this. We're gonna do this. Let's do it. It's gonna be great. Smash the window. Smash the window. Smash, smash, smash. Here we go. Let's go. Boom. Damn it. In hand, you take a hard swing at the window. Looks like the window might be shatterproof. You may have to rethink your approach. Try it again. Really? Another futile thunk sounds in the brisk coastal air. This has been hard enough. No need to make it any harder. He smashes it into the window. <gasps> Droplets of glass fly everywhere, shattering over nice. the lorry floor and pavement. You can just reach in now. Nice. Mm -hmm. It went better than I expected. Open it from the inside. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. The smell of cigarettes and perfume welcomes you. The cabin inside is plastered with old movie posters. Actresses smile from the walls. So she's not in here. There's a radio transmitter in the front and a toolbox tucked under the driver's seat. Some tools lie scattered near the pedals. See the posters. These are movie posters featuring starlets from long forgotten films from the 20s, the teens, cool. even the 90s of the last century. One of them particularly catches your eye, a centerfold of an ingenue attached right above the back seat. There's definitely perfume in the air. It's spicy with a hint of amberette wafting through the bitter air of the cabin. What's that smell? The remnants of a sweet juniper scented perfume. Probably grenade number five. Definitely a lady. Or some very, uh, some guy who likes the scent of women's perfume. Which, I mean, to be honest. Right. They're at the centerfold. The actress is draped in a sheath dress, one of her shoulders bared. The faded remains of an autograph run across the poster. She's looking past the camera. This is Tip Tijon, a starlet from the dawn of cinematography, less known for her talent than her tragic, untimely death. What happened to her? She wasted away in a drug den called The Door to the River, not far from here. Oh, it's Street, like a Judy Garland a type mixture thing. Of cocaine yep. and morphine. She was afraid of the world and the camera, too. Or a Studio 54. The actresses and the rear actor all smile you a warm goodbye. A radio <laughs> transmitter is attached to the dashboard and a toolbox sits under the driver's seat. Let's look at the radio. Looks like the frequency dial is absent. It requires a key to work, but the key has been removed. Likely by the missing lady driver. Obviously. Smart little bitch. Strange. There are so many radio stations said there. Must be over 100 at least. Mm. It has to be an advanced model to fit so many frequencies next to each other without blending them so together. So she is. Why would anyone need so many radio drugs. stations? For contacting an entire fleet of lorrymen, for example. This is all shortwave, UW and UKV. Looks like we are dealing with an impressive organizational tool. The nerve center of a huge operation. With quite a range, too. A 20 kilometer <laughs> radius, at least. Perhaps extended by an attachable antenna that's not here right now. Anything we can do with it? Uh, doesn't look like it. It's completely inoperable without the dial key. What else is here? The smell of a thousand cigarettes. Oh, the pedals. You wedge yourself under the steering wheel. 
to get a better yeah. look. Seems like the few tools lying around here, a hammer, a pair of pliers, a rusty wrench, have been casually thrown there by the disorganized driver. But why? But one odd detail does catch your eye. A piece of sandpaper has been glued to the what? throttle. What? Sandpaper adds extra grip. Looks like the driver has glued a piece of sandpaper to the throttle to offer some extra grip. Sandpaper? Another technique? Sandpaper would also rub off the pattern from the driver's right boot sole. Ooh, yes. like... One of the footprints at the crime scene had an aberration. One sole was yep. smoother than the other. Which means that the missing lady driver was present at the lynching. The eighth hardy? Wait, the missing eighth hardy? Here? Looks like her, yes. Ooh, and also, ooh. And she's also the one running the drug trade. What a handful. Wow. Now we know for certain who is the missing eighth person at the lynching. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? Probably. Those jerks, definitely. I think the entire union is involved, yeah. Did he tell you? <laughs> yeah. We should talk with Titus, see what he's got to say on the matter. Are we finished with the lorry? The There's too many other people in the union that are also hiding this fact. What's in the toolbox? In the console, yeah, what's in and there? a faint what's metallic there? drawer slides out from the seat. It's empty. Except what? for a folded newspaper. Because our tools are out here. It's an issue of Petty Ferry from last Wednesday. A piece of paper falls out from its pages. Yep, it looks know. like an article ripped out from a radio enthusiast magazine. Radio. Complex mathematical What's going equations on with that radio? explain the basics of something called the ULAN frequency system. The ULAN frequency system? I've never heard of that before. I know of FM, AM, UKV, but. Sounds like another lead to me. The pull out toolbox slide back into their the own the radio station, maybe. Was. He closed the rusty old lorry door. Great. I think we got everything. A word, detective? Before we return to Joyce? You got it there. What's up, Kim? All right. We've finished here. Let's quickly debrief and go over what we found. Oh, wow. So we don't do it in front of the company, right? Seems like something police would do. What do you think of all this, Kim? Honestly, I'm quite worried by what we've seen so far. The evidence seems to point to a rather extensive and well-organized operation. I'm especially intrigued by that radio transmitter, particularly yeah. the sheer number of stations it can connect. Looks like this alleged drug trade casts a wide net. This means it's well funded. As one usually Technology does. Technology like that. A major player must be financing it. Hmm. I'm not sure what the ULAN frequencies are all about, but they may hold some significance. Perhaps it's a better way to connect between fleets while avoiding frequency bleed, or maybe it's used to tap into RCM networks. And last but not least, it looks like the Hardy Boys knew this driver, as we know that she was present at the lynching. This may be the union connection we've been searching for. What about the movie posters? How do they factor into all this? As elegant as they are, I don't think... I don't really, I don't think... <laughs> a lot of women there. Especially for the lady driver's cabin. Yes, well. So? So, this a turn, it turns out this is? Will the RCM open an investigation? Like Joyce told us, yes, logistically. But don't expect to bust this open during our stay here. At best, this is an angle we can use against them to other ends as extra ammunition. Right, don't want to complicate things as they already are. We're here for the murder, and that's all. Meaning? Someone as slippery as Everard won't be caught by a couple of cops and some stuff they found in some cabin. Right, so this doesn't have as much weight as I think it does. We should return to the murder case, see what Joyce tells us about the lynching. When we yeah, are but if they're the connected, day, then it's one big case. Our narcotics department look into it. There are more than enough grounds to start an official investigation sometime later when we're done here. We do not want to get caught in that. What are you thinking? The fact that one hasn't started already gives me pause. An investigation, I mean. Especially if the Madre grouping is involved, and I can't imagine there are. It's certainly worrisome. Corruption? All the same, I don't like the idea of internal affairs descending on the matter. That won't help anyone either. Okay, uh, debrief over? Debrief over. After you. Okay. So now, should we talk to Titus to see what he knows about this, or should we talk to Joyce and see what she knows about this? Joyce. Joyce? All right. Because, I mean, it is, you know, we do have something conclusive to tell her. 
I think we should let we should uh, fill her in, if only for the benefit of a, of the murder case. Oh yeah. yeah, what's up? I uh saw you poking around in Lady Driver's lorry. She in trouble? Wait, so you did know something about who's smuggling drugs around here? Nah, man. I was telling you the truth. I really didn't think it'd be her. She's okay. Sort of trouble, but still, a nice person. So that's well, what of course they have to be. Before. It was wishful thinking. What else do you know about her? Nothing. We just talked a bit. About life and stuff. She left me a key so I could park a lawyer if the jam broke. So, she in trouble or what? No trouble. She's gonna be fine. Oh man, that's like a load off my mind. All that stress was messing up my rhymes. Sure. Who chooses to believe what's best for her? What's the plan with those rhymes, anyway? Oh, you know. Tommy Lehom's gonna be a musician. Shrekgesang, but with beats. I've got a lot of free time on the road to hone my craft. The correct grammar is Tommy Lehom. Why Tommy Lehom? Tommy Lehom was taken. My uh. real name's Jerry Lafitte. Tommy's way better. Tommy's way better. Alright, I had another question, actually. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. This, no. Empa this no empathy is killing me, man. That's all for now. Well, then we need to put some more into empathy. We, we already did. We, we're as empathetic as we're going to get. Unless we you do can't something. can't go up anymore? Unless we do something special like we did for, for a suggestion here. We need to learn it from one of these uh, thoughts. But it's difficult to tell what each could do. Oh, we could put another thing there, right? Does that open up right there? Yeah, that's open up, but what should we put? Yeah. Oh, dang it. Come on. Oi. Oi. Alright. Well, look around. We got all these things. So we got... Oh, we got... We actually do have some things that we can do. Here. Okay, these are all the things that we can do. We got finger pistols, which while we're doing it, reduces to savoir faire. Mm. Oh, plus two empathy. For aces low. What's aces high? Aces high is what we can't get. Oh. Aces high is what we get when we do the aces high with Oh, him. just from but because we... white morning to finger pistols is yeah. what we can put yeah. there. Okay. Actual art degree. Indirect modes of taxation that actually gets well, rid of our empathy. Yeah, we don't want that. Magnesium based life form. <laughs> Bow collector. Negative one authority. authority, no. No. Let's try this aces low here. Yeah, it's the What's only that? one that gives like plus two to something. What's that due to our empathy? Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam. Nothing. Man. Barely anything. That's we gotta wait until it's done, actually. So we'll be back for you. All right. To Joyce. <laughs> Electrochemistry comes in like maybe you should smoke to get more empathy. <laughs> I mean, look at you. People see a drug, a, a drug addled hobo getting a fix. They feel sympathy for him, so therefore you should get some drugs, and people will feel bad for you. Do we have any drugs? It's not about people having empathy for us. It's about us having empathy for others. Oh, well, fuck! I got nothing. Well, uh... red paint starting to run. All right. Look in that boat. Make a save here, just in case things go wrong. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? <laughs> You're Not an umbrella, I hope. I don't need one myself, you see. Neither do I. Very rugged. Good choice. Now, I suspect you had questions. Nothing like talking to pass a rainy day. Am I right? I spoke with the lorryman at the roundabout. Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? Your eyes on the harbor? Wait, where exactly are those eyes located? It doesn't really matter. And I yeah, it does. The surveillance. While you know, can't what, what? To be blind at a time like this. One of the tall buildings overlooking the roundabout, most likely. That would give them a read on the entire quarter. In any case, it's mm. a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask... Will there be an official investigation? 
I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Of course, detectives. In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. I wouldn't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands it. Yeah, if you tell don't us. solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. You said contain the situation? Yes. I'm afraid this strike may descend into a small-scale civil war, hmm. with possible consequences for all uh -oh. of Rivershaw West. Since you are sharing land, this is also the RCM's worst-case scenario. Then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. Tell me again, how are the lynching and the strike connected? I have an indirect role to play, I'm sad to say. My employer experienced a momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. They called it my security detail. A momentary lapse of, of faith, huh? They were dispatched after I relayed the Union's initial offer. Uh-huh. Ah. So... Every worker. Every worker. Board. Yeah. I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of rhetoric or a joke. So every member of worker of the board, the as a demand, was so ridiculous and it pissed them off so much, he sent John Wick after them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, died John Wick because he got fucked up. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, he died. Absolutely not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the Union into surrendering. Oh yeah, all, they're just all muscle. Because then you actually start fighting them, apparently they go down easy. Who are they exactly? Well, that's why they needed eight dudes Canel, to hang him. An odd news <laughs> yeah. military company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. Uh. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons, and years of combat experience. They also have trauma and stressor disorder, and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian Great. environment. Kim, do you think that I could be one of these operatives without even knowing it? So, what happened? The story is, one of them, the Colonel... I don't know his real name. Ah, sexually so he did a sexually assault while he was drunk a woman. And separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant Union members to subdue him. He was taken out behind the whirling in rags and lynched last Sunday night. What then? Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders for now. For now? Oh, shit. It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, executions will follow. Eww, uh -oh. What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. Uh oh. I have to that say that includes the Hardy Boys. I have to say, folks, this is not disco. It is very far. From disco. <laughs> the furthest My only from disco. Is that you provide a single concrete suspect before the mercenaries indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, if you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, they will identify and execute everyone present at the lynching. This in turn will force the Union to respond. The Debarder have over 2,000 men. It will be a thousand to one. Have you ever seen a Hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? Yeah. It's not pretty. Mm -hmm. The Serais giant hornet, the world's second largest insect, can kill 40 honeybees a minute, while a group of 30 can decimate an entire hive of 20,000 bees in less than four hours. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle loaded weapons, even yours. Most Union workers don't have guns at all. The muzzle loaders need to be reloaded after every one or two shots. The automatics every one or two minutes. Yeah. That's plenty of time for bullets to come flying through. As I said, a bloodbath. Isn't this a pretty uh, bleak scenario you're describing? Many bleak scenarios have already come true. Nameless, badgerless detective of the citizen's militia. 
Touche. Wow. You fucking bitch. Ouch. All we can do is keep the rest from going the same way. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. You how say, much time do we have? Uh, we can go for a little while. No, how much time do we have? Seven. Huh? Number seven. Oh, h how much time do we have? Until the executions start. Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on their progress identifying the members of the lynch mob and their impatience. They don't report their progress to you? Not on this matter. I'm afraid they consider this a personal initiative. Well, it was one of their own, so... It's a matter of days, not weeks. Hmm. Well, f thankfully we have days, not weeks. So the deceased is over a woman. Or he didn't. This is information passed on to me from some teenagers loitering around so the So they're lying. Who did the passing on then? The remaining contractors. Their tribunal. It's what they believe. What did they say? That the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around a bit. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. Hmm. I don't think so. A convenient motive shared by word of mouth around the city. It's too telephony. It's way too telephony. The lieutenant consults his notebook, his eyebrows knitted in concentration. Yeah. It seems Kim's got the right idea, too. Odd. We haven't heard any reports about an assault in connection with the lynching. Where did it take Everyone just calls it the dead body. I mean, no, nobody even seems all that bothered by it, to be honest. Last Sunday night, at the Whirling and Rack, Well, Titus said he by the gates. raped somebody, Supposedly, but... the colonel was drunk. Maybe on narcotics, too. Either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. Sometime later, a group of dock workers got their hands on him. And who was this woman? That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. As I said, it's a rumor. About a rumor. Was it that In fucking case, lady the colonel's remaining who left? Colleagues, believe. Could it be that lady smoking on the balcony of the Whirling and Rags? That's what I'm thinking. That too. I mean, the, the game seems to think that she's important, but she hasn't shown her importance yet. Maybe this is how. She hasn't left we'll yet, yeah. We'll meet her soon enough, you feel. Yeah, we'll meet her soon enough. Uh, this colonel, the one who was hanged, did you know him? If you mean, did I see him alive? Yes. But I did not know him. And his name was... Lely. His Lely? Lely. Again, most likely. He wouldn't divulge his full name. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. Nationality. Tell me about the others first. One is a man. Courty, they call him. A nickname as well. The other a woman. Phyllis DePaul. Courty is the gunner, I believe. DePaul is a radio operator. What would you say was his eye color? The deceased's. She closes her eyes, trying to picture the man's face. Then shakes her head. I can't remember. The lieutenant was testing her, asking a small detail first to see if she knew him better than she let on. She passed. Hmm. Mm. That's all right, then. Anything else? Nationality? What would you say was his age? He was 40. Or 50. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age. Or gauge his facial expressions. Indeed. These matches do then... So he's like, so you know, so I've got to kill all these younger guys? So he's mid-aged. We said, we said he was about 42 in our autopsy. Yeah, I think so, yeah. That'd be about right. He was, uh, Occidental, I think. Light brown hair, a mixed accent, Oranese, or Messinian, maybe. His injury Oranese. gave him an accent Oranese, of his own. certainly. In a way, it was humanizing. He had to learn to speak through it, through the injury. That's all I know, I guess. Where I are the other two now, once. huh? They've gone to ground, as it were. I don't recommend seeking them out. For one, they're almost certainly armed to the teeth. They don't have the same respect for the Revachol citizens militia as I do. To put it bluntly, they think you're vigilantes. What? Ghetto savages. It will not be a fruitful meeting. We still need to know where they are, you know. 
You're likely to run into them eventually. Oh, we got when this. When that happens, I'll be in a better position to Where meet are these mercenaries? Involved. Close it and fit right. Scab leader, bad, bad acting. Didn't pass background check. <gasps> I know where one of them is! One is obviously the scab leader. Yes! The harbor gate. Yes! The one chanting the idiotic song. The right to work, guy! Oh! We all have a right to work! The other has a vantage point in the building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the Lorange Islands. One must be the goon in the ill-fitting work clothes by the harbor gates, the scab leader. That may be so. Level up again! Boop. I still hope you heed my advice. There's no need to kick the hornet's nest. Well, I have a right to question! Yeah, really. Right to talk! For all your talk of averting this catastrophe, the situation at the gate is the border keg. Does this not bother you? Of course it bothers me, Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. How would my employer react if it appeared I were intervening on behalf of the Union? It's all politics. It's all this is. It's all your politics. Answer, maybe appearances. Horus is keeping the peace. One's probably in a building overlooking the roundabout. Yep. Wouldn't afford a good vantage point. In any case, it's practically inaccessible. Where is your radio for contacting them, if I may ask? Do you have an earpiece? Heavens no. I'm not an undercover agent. There's a short wave at the ship's wheel. I had another question for you. I hope I can answer it better. Duh, well, I might as well ask, ask, ask the last one. Okay. Not much. Their public resume is relatively good, as far as private military contractors go. I believe they were once called Downwell. Hey, Downwell, I played that before. They boast a long list of clients. Saint-Baptiste, Welchman Lorenz, Einbracht. You're just saying words, lady, Tyler. I don't know what they mean. The operations concerned all take place in third or fourth world countries. Guarding facilities, escort missions and such. Meaning they are used to operate in war zones. Riversol is not a war zone. Uh, uh, yes. Well, all the good conflict corridors, or they think it may yes, become a war zone. Yeah, islands, uh, it's not a war that zone don't yet. Have a good record reporting atrocious military conduct on their soil. Sadly, no. Before this happened, I had little interest in them. Now that I do, I don't have the resources. If you still have access to the ICP's database, you could run a better background check than I ever could. It may take some time, though. We need to get the uh, insane clown posse's database. Oh, yeah. Did they ever find out how magnets worked? <laughs> how do you they know work? a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, ma'am? In my line of work, it pays to do your research. I was prepared to deal with the RCM. I did not think I'd be dealing with a group like Cronell. Could you contact the company? Tell them to call them off? I have. And they will. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out in the field here. Until they do, it's all on us. She's being truthful. She is pressing them as hard as she can. Well, that's, that's enough for now then. That's enough for now. I am sorry to have been the bearer of bad news. If there is anything else I can help you At least you, you with, told us. Please ask. Well, that was surprisingly fruitful. Alright, I want to go confront the scab leader. Saying, I know who you are! Yeah, really. You're part of the... The, um... Joyce! Joyce! <laughs> hey, you reading a book, mister? In the rain? <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's a woman. I mean, ma'am. A good a good one? Yes. Hello. Who are you? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. She doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. Squint. Empathy, why'd you come out of nowhere? Squint eyes. Lean closer. If she's such a working class woman, why isn't she? Working? Why isn't she working at three? Not all the time. Right now, I'm browsing books. Even a working class woman needs something to read. Phenomenal. It is. I'm a policeman. I know you are. Everyone can see that. Direct on you. <laughs> Do you need the help <laughs> of a policeman? What with? What with? A lot of things. 
For example, people tend to go missing. Maybe your husband's missing. My husband? No, he's not. Where could he be? I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Talking? So you don't where know where he is? 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 So what I'm hearing is you don't really know where your husband is. Yes, but... I don't really need to know where <laughs> Where's my this going? Is. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to? No. What? I can totally help you find your missing husband. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do Why it. Why are we still talking about this? I haven't lost my husband. Maybe your children Maybe are missing. Your children are missing. No, absolutely not. Okay, so where are they? Are you a policeman or a nanny? <laughs> I police whatever I want. Where are they? They are not missing, sir. You know where they are. They're at home. Smoking. Given the ladder of electrochemistry just came out of nowhere and said, "Yep, you're they're at home, right? Home. Smoking cigarettes." What? That's just. My daughters are perfectly fine. They're with their friends down in Jamrock. There's nothing to worry about. They're, they're smoking. They're almost grown up now, anyway. They're past the age they need me protecting them from everything now. I'm afraid the danger is now greater than ever. Tell me, how old are they? My youngest girl, Jolie, is just shy of 16. Jenny, she is turning 18 next month. But we shouldn't even be talking about them. And can you describe me their appearance? Any fears that stand out? Something to make identifying them a little easier. Why? I know this. Haven't I repeatedly told you that they are not missing? That they are in Jamrock, safe and well, at some stupid party? Yeah, it's for the investigation. I'm trying to be professional here. Kim, please. There is no investigation Kim, please. here. I can tell you that. Maybe you're... Cockatoo is missing. Your cockatoo is missing. I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. <laughs> For what it's worth, I agree. Can't Kim be is like, can we quit? It's better to indulge. <laughs> what do you mean I'm being a cockatoo? Nothing. Go read up on them if you're so interested. There's a great book in the bookstore. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? Oh my god, don't tell me. Are we really? Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Thanks for the tip. Wonderful. The store is open. Oh my god. Her hands move over the book covers. The tips of her fingers look rough, stained with yellow. It seems like that's all. she has spent a lot of time at work smoking. That's all for the moment. I'll let you the read. The woman before you nods and returns to her reading. In the rain. Got any cockatoo books, uh, placements? What have you found? And also, do buy the books. There may be teachings in them. I'm looking for a book about cockatoos. A book about cockatoos? There should be one upstairs, right next to the shelf of biographies. That's all I can say for now, book peddler. <laughs> Are we gonna seriously learn about what? What's the point of learning about this? No, up there more. These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see the name Dick Mullen over and over. A couple of spook novels hide amidst all the detective books. All right, that's not what I'm looking for. Probably these, right? A sulphur-crested cockatoo sits on the cover. Its beak Yay. is slightly open. It looks as if the bird is calling out the book title. From A to Zurich, a guide to a well-behaved cockatoo. Uh, I want to I be a well-behaved cockatoo. Turns out that there are so many different cockatoo species, and they all have behavioral they problems. They all have behavioral problems. That seems promising. That, uh, that track. Problems. That's garbage. You're cool. Are you sure about that composure? That may be the biggest lie my brain has told me yet. What's what's about this? Uh, what about this guide to cockatoo storekeeper? It's a must have if you own a cockatoo. I've heard they're quite capricious. Buy it. Yoink. Oh, a nature enthusiast. Good choice. I knew it was a good idea to keep that around. It's all part of business expenses here, Kim. Let's read it. Yes. A cockatoo is a parrot with an erectile crest found on the Seminine Islands and in southern Fas Alamea, 
Known for their intelligence and general precociousness, cockatoos are popular birds in aviculture. However, they often exhibit various behavioral They're little issues. shits because my aunt had one and he was a little shit. Okay, what more? This book talks about the delicate nature of twos, as well as introducing some of the most popular species among the bird enthusiasts. The funeral cockatoo, the major majestic cockatoo, and the most common bang bang cockatoo. It's colorfully illustrated. Okay, what problems do these birds have? Where to even begin? <laughs> Where Three to even begin? <laughs> are known for their needy natures, requiring attention for at least two full hours yeah. a day. Yeah, kind of need at they least three. To talk and have been described as lovable clowns who just don't know how to wrap up. <laughs> you don't know how to, yeah, that, you know, yeah. I can handle that. It would be nice to have someone to talk to when feeling lonely. Pet owners also report moodiness, loudness, and hostility as recurring issues. If left unsatisfied, Cockatoos may scream nonstop, <laughs> pluck their feathers, or become aggressive. Jesus! All right, that's pretty bad. Uh, anything else? It is not recommended to get a cockatoo <laughs> if you're not able to cook them food every day and give them the full care that they need. These birds will I'm never sorry. understand that cook you have them a life food? of your own. Yes, but there has to be something great about cockatoos as well. You're right. Cockatoos are magnificent creatures. They love to perform, cuddle, and show off. And will even scream for fun, often as loud as up oh to my God. 135 decibels. <laughs> no. Well, way. if Twitch can tell you anything, screaming is fun. Ouch! <laughs> that must hurt. Not great for the neighbors. Performing, yes, birdie. Yes, birdie. All right. What about the funeral cockatoo? This is a yellow-tailed black cockatoo. Its specific name, like I said, cockatoo. Venarius relates to its dark and somber plumage. This bird looks as if dressed for a funeral, 24-7. There is something indisputably ominous about it. Ooh. How about, about the major majestic cockatoo? Perhaps the most impressive of all the species, the endangered major majestic cockatoo, is cockatoo. often described cockatoo. as the most flamboyant bird in the jungle. Its pink-colored wings and flowing crest embellishing its proud and bumptious nature. Bumptious. In the words of poet explorer Sir James Fournier, few birds more enliven the monotonous hues of the verdant forest than this big, bold, and beautiful species. How about the most common bang-bang cockatoo? Despite yeah, what's this? its banging name, the bang-bang cockatoo is actually the shyest of the species common in almost all Seminese forests, as well as zoos and homes all over the world. Its plumage is mainly gray and white. The Seminese name, Bang Bang, is thought to be of onomatopoeic origins. Honestly, this bird does sound a bit like me. Yes, but <laughs> all those cockatoo species are so different. Which one are you? But what if I'm just a fuck up a two? A <laughs> fuck up yes. and a cockatoo! Yes. You're right. You're a fuckatoo embodied. Fuckatoo. This ass bird belongs on your heraldry. It probably doesn't even have feathers and only screams. <laughs> and only screams. That's great. Okay, so I guess I'm a fuckatoo now. Does it say? Huh. I got a, I'm a fuckatoo here. Yeah. All right. Let's go talk to those hardy boys again about this whole drug business. Maybe maybe that can help our authority a little bit and let them know that we're onto them and we know who they're protecting and why. Just a quick save, just to be just to be safe. I mean, they're scary. They're they hurt really. They're very scary and they, they yell hurt my at, brain. They yell at me a lot and they make me feel like I'm worthless. They make me kill myself. Looks like the circus left town. <laughs> the circus the circus left town. He's been he's been day drinking all day. Oh look, well, sorry, sorry. Like seriously, it's uh, like don't tell me what I don't know, Travis. <laughs> like that shit. Here goes here a cop here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't drink ten beers before five p.m. There, oh, Tom. What do you know, cop? He is going to puke. What what do we have on authority? All right. That's still three. All right, I talked to Joyce. The Merc you hanged. His friends are coming for you. Yeah. 
By friends, you mean his squad mates from Cronell. Yep. Wouldn't want to beat up his grandma. What? Yeah, they're forming some kind of tribunal and they're coming for you. This is what happens if you take the law into your own hands. Other people start doing No it shit! Mm -hmm. Let them come. The Hardy boys are right fucking here. You heard the man. Right here. We're armed. All right. We got the whole district behind us. And Glenn. Glenn is I see crazy. a couple of windows, not the whole district. Yeah. I will oil it, Lord Machine. Do you know that a single Serhae's giant hornet can kill 40 bees a minute? The fuck is that supposed to be? You're the bees. They're the hornets. We're not bees. We're men. We're socialists. Oh, no. Then no, you're, you're fucking you're, doomed. No, no, no. He's trying to phase you. What are you trying to do? Scare my men? The mercenaries are armed with automatic weapons. We got weapons of our own. We got... Like what? Zila got us. Glenn's got a knock cannon at home. Well, they pierce okay, ceramic so... armor? Well, I bet you what he wanted to tell him. He's like, well, if Glenn has a knock cannon at home, I guess we'll be all right. That thing has seven barrels, one trigger. You do the math. So that's one dead and a long reel. Yeah. But whatever. Joyce says they're gone rogue. Nobody's controlling them. Big fucking sick. They hire psycho scum, arm them to the teeth, and let them loose in the city. What do you think is gonna happen? Okay, your funeral. Which, by the way, funeral cockatoo here. I just, I just funeral cockatoo. I just, really? I just figured this out. You know, death follows me, and apparently I am a harbinger of something awful. What do you mean? Okay. They're gonna wipe you the fuck out, Titus. I mean, okay, they're gonna wipe you the fuck out, Titus. No, they won't. Get out of here with your negative energy. Uh, no, they are! What I mean is that the situation is serious. No wonder you cops get shot to shit every day. Can't go to war with an attitude like that. I'm gonna take off now. I'm gonna tell them where you are. Because I happen to know where one of these mercs are. One of them might be looking for you. Why do you think that he's trying to get into the harbor so bad? to try and find those guys. Yeah. Well, luckily, luckily, I know right where they are and they told me everything. Kim can back me up, they confessed to fucking everything. Let's go, Kim. Hey, Mr. Scab Leader, right to work, man. Get him. Right to work, right to work. Shame on you. Are you a mercenary hired by Wild Pines? Hell no, I'm just an honest scab. I won't have talk like that around here. You understand? It just has to be said. That was not a convincing lie. Uh... <clears throat> Is there a tribunal being convened by any chance? Fuck it, Bob. I'm going <laughs> to interpret that as a yes. There's a tribunal. And it won't be long until it's ready. The fuck it who wins again. The fuck it who hobo cop. Yep. The fuck superstar. Hobo cop. The superstar fuck it who hobo cop. How about you fuck off now, huh? Okay, of course. Hell no, I'm just not a scab. That didn't sound too convincing. Fucking loincloth. Fucking loincloth? Loin See, that's not really what a scab would say, is it? Better not to press the issue further, sire. He seems. Okay. The man's breathing steadies, but his eyes are still narrow. Slowly, he's trying to get his. Take out that to picture, work. yeah. Dance. By the way, would you know what this uh, picture of your dead friend looks like? Don't think so. Suddenly, this feels like a really, really bad idea. It was on your kernel. It was on your kernel. Wordless, he takes the photo and looks at it. Gray eyes dart back and forth on the glossy surface. His face is unmoving, hard as a stone, but beneath it, fucking loincloths really did him in. Um, loincloths? Yeah. yeah. You tell me what the tattoo means? What it means. I can tell you what this one means. They just acted like Only cavemen. One. You want to hear what happened here? Yes. 
Our colonel is deep in the bush here. Deep in the fucking bush. In Benital. 41. Monsoon season. He's on a reconnaissance mission. Benaito is one of the inhabited islands of the Semenese archipelago near the Pale. Covered in jungle, it was anchor point for the Semenese nationalists in the proxy war held on the islanders' territory. He spent a month behind enemy lines, scouting kept villages. Nothing but fucking bugs and snakes for fun. Men. So he's Rambo, guys. Is this guy just switching. rambling? Employer. With some strange emotion. This is about to get really graphic. Last moment to back off. Don't interrupt him. Our boy. He's only a captain then. But he knows how these men think. If they don't see action soon. At dawn. He comes upon two kids. Breeding in the bushes by the river. Or maybe they weren't ever breeding. Maybe. They were just making eyes at each other. I like to think they were breeding. <laughs> we shot the boy. He was useless, but the girl, she was nigh. A little fat, you know, but not too old. This is getting bad. She was uh... detained for the week she lasted, expired in the hands of Sarge Mason. The kind of guy who'd make Chief there shit his pants and cry like a bitch. God. <laughs> Mason couldn't let go. Cut the tits off her cold body and fucking ate them. <laughs> uh, right to work, right? R right, right to work. Oh. Uh, Spirits, my ass. Something stirs in your stomach. Is it me throwing up? Is it? There's a word on the tip of your tongue. Colorless, odorless. Evil. It's evil. You bet it was. What is evil? It's just nature. This guy, he used to say evil is when nature and spirit meet in the wrong place. You were there? No. I was in the domain, in Jamrock, being a bouncer. You're not really a scab leader, are you? Fucking mask is getting sweaty. I want to take my mask off. Yeah, that back. Go ahead. Can I have All that right back, now. really? Free Connors! Keep the guns flowing! On the photo in your hands, the dead man's skin is studded with stars. Tens, hundreds of I'm just gonna leave now. Well. 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 Yeah. Hmm. This has been eye opening, certainly. Let me give these boys one more. one more chat. Maybe we can try and force an authority check. I don't know. We know Looks a lot like more than they think he does. Left him, Maybe we can try and force. Hmm. Maybe we connect with. The, we can get get him connected to the drug trade, perhaps. Like hell, you have. There is no local drug trade. You're hilarious. Go back to Jamrock and ask the local junkies how clean your streets are in Precinct 41 Kilo. We'll do that. In the meantime, did you know that there is an abandoned <laughs> yes, road anyway. intersection that was used to move raw ingredients for drugs from Terminal B to Jamrock? The person driving it was present at the hanging. It was one of you. We've connected the footprint. Yeah. Detective, do you want to deliver the coup de grace? Could it cross? The thought uh, falls uh. in your head like a lightning strike branching in the sky. No, do the honor. You've no, do the it. honor. You've earned it. Thank you. You're right, Titus. There is no local drug trade because it's all controlled by you. You're the drug trade. That's a mighty interesting theory. I guess that's what you would need to do, theoretically. A big, strong, state run monopoly would outcompete the runs on the street. Yeah, man. Theoretically, that's what you would do. To get rid of the gangs, the dealers, even some of the junkies. You would need good, trustworthy people to take their place, of course. Hardy men to run. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> the good 
Ha ha. Ha ha. I knew you were a funny man underneath all that. You fucking clown. The yes, good of the community, the greater good. General, doesn't it? Just diverted the flood of Jamrock. You made it our problem. We haven't done anything. But theoretically, it has to be someone's problem. So it might as well be yours. Titus, I'm amazed. Where is the same professionalism when it comes to other topics? You're doing great. I hardly have to interfere oh, at all. Oh, please. I don't know, Lizzie. I guess theoretical things don't make me emotional. Now, was there anything else? I was sort of gonna get my brewski on. You've been getting it on since 10 in the morning. Not quite yet, Mr. Hardy. There were eight sets of prints on the crime scene. There are only seven Hardy boys here. The eighth Hardy, the one who's missing. She runs the thing, right? My answer is fuck off. Mind your own business. Well, this is a there real is sticking point for him, isn't party. it? I run this goddamn scene. And here we go. Back to the usual. I know, I know. Fatty walked on all fours. He's so Fine, if you fatty, all go to, to court, <laughs> you'll just have to answer those questions for real. Who's going to bring him into court? What court? Whose court? Despite everything, the, the little big man court. is quick on his feet. Go fuck your mom, Dennis. That's more like it, boys. You heard him. It was Angus on Oh, it fucking phone. went up. Anything uh, else you need to know? Okay, we got it up to 8%. Let's see if we can't do one more little Hail Mary play. Yeah, save that. It's you again. What is it? I am the law. Step ah. That's one. If there's one thing I want to it's force before game. we uh, call it for today, it? it's I want to, I want to let him know that damn it, I am who you answer to. I'm the one who's supposed to be to make you afraid. God damn it. It's step uh, I want to be dominant over you. I am the alpha male. You're the it's fucking you beta in here. What is it? Yeah, I gotta wait five seconds before I save scum. As you look yeah! Holy shit, we got it! Spitting out tobacco. Does this Holy shit, third time. The third try. Oh my god. I am the law! Where have I seen this before? You believe the place was called Precinct 41. It was also filled with, almost exclusively, men. Sitting on desks, talking shit, and wasting time. I get it, Titus. You guys really are the authority around here. Huh? You must be. You're just like real cops. Drinking beer and sitting around with your dicks in your hand. You got a problem with beer now? Not quite there yet. Push on. There's plenty of people that have problems with beer nowadays. Nah, no, I'm a big fan of beer. Jerk. And jerking off instead of helping people. You saying we don't help people? No, you don't help anybody. Ten years. Martinez was a dump before we put this outfit together. They don't know, man. They I don't know, it still kind of yeah, looks like a fucking dump. Hmm. It's dead. Fucking graffito everywhere. You cops haven't shown up since the 30s. Congratulations on the graffito removal. All I see is you sitting around talking about Monica's titties while there's a rape victim. You tell him, Kim. Hit him with that shit. <laughs> seems like my seems like my buddy Kim cut your stupid mongrel asses in a microaggression. Ooh. Wait, did I just microaggress them? Don't look. Don't look into it. Anyway. Uh, don't look. What do you want from me? We took care of that fuck. Don't let him drink that. One more push. She needs counseling when you talk, really. How about who did it? It's about the victim. She needs help. Titus? She stops mid-sentence. That's it. You got him. He's going to give it up. But on his terms. You wanna help her, cop? Fine. I'm gonna let you help her. 
but you treat her with respect. Buddy, As si one would. Buddy, since I woke up, I have been the most chivalrous cop that has ever existed. No shit. Don't look into my past behavior. That's not who I am anymore. Like, literally, that's not who I am anymore. I don't know who I am now. If you don't. We're a super hobo cop. Question her. Cockatoo hobo cop. Her. A freight train of pain, buddy. Yep, that's about all I'm after is a freight train of pain. What is her name? Flossia. I'm on you. She's mm -hmm. standing here at the worrying rags. That was the woman who we first saw when we first so woke up. Yep. I knew it. That's I knew it. You with an O U. Shit. The girl. The girl upstairs? That can't be her. Remember what you said to her? Yeah. Oh, no. You wanna what did we say? We wanna have fuck with her. We wanna have fuck with her. Colossia? Get. After Blonde, tall, after she tall. was raped, we said that to her. Oh my god. I kind of feel like what we did was a bit more endearing. Yeah, she treated it as such. It's like, they're, like, rape, of course, is an act of violence. Yeah. I don't believe that there was any violence. It was like, hey, you want to... I want to have a fuck with you. Yeah, a fucking hungover dude <laughs> comes out of his room and just says that. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, what... I think she even laughed about it. So, what am I in? Where am I? <laughs> Who is anything? Keep your cool, keep your cool. Okay. <laughs> Miss Orion, you just go dance her? Sure. Why not? You've probably seen her. Okay, let's keep cool, 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 it sounds like you're having Ow. a heart attack. It all hurts! Oh, Jesus! It all Come hurts! Ow! Please relax. Calm. Don't we have medicine? Normal. Try to forget this little hiccup. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what, what, what was her relationship with the mercenary? Relationship? There was no fucking relationship. He raped her. That's that's not what I mean. I meant like, were they? Did they know each other? Were they friends? Were they, did they talk? Did really? she talk to her once? Was it? Was she a customer? Did 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 he do anything to her previously? It's like that karaoke incident all over again, or like some of the other girls he was harassing. Yeah. Okay, enough. All of this is irrelevant to your stated investigation. So the um, the uh, the thing. What is your relationship with her? I kind of want to check her shoes, to be honest. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So, when was that? He did it before we killed him. He's not going to do it again. You've made that so abundantly clear. It, matter? it would help if we establish a timeline. All right. Two weeks, maybe? I don't know. I need another beer. It's almost 5 p.m., dude. Here you go, You've been boy. drinking all fucking day. I don't think you need another one. So, uh, what's your relationship with her? I know her. Okay. What? Okay. How well I know a lot of people know. too, but a small twitch in the corner of Kim's mouth. He has a hunch about what knowing means. Well enough, copper. We party. She's been here for a few months. So jovial then, got it. He tries to make it sound real casual, but the muscles on his neck tighten. So she's not from around a here? sex worker? You mean Revishaw? Nah. Our Miss Aranye disco dancer is an immigrant or a drifter of some sort. Been staying over here over the winter. Don't you give her any more trouble. She's just had some bad luck, that's all. Shut up, Angie. Jeez. She doesn't need your help. Titus gives them both a look. They fall silent. What's with all the silences? It's like these guys don't know how to feel about this. You should keep picking at it. <laughs> I think I... <laughs> I think I know her. You don't know her. You're wrong, I do. You're wrong, I do. Not the way I do. 
He said you party. That's weird. Cool, that's cool, but what do you mean? What do you think I meant? Was it sex? Was it sex? Yeah, pretty much. So you're okay. saying the two of you were close? No, we just fucked. That's all. I'm not gonna give you any details if that's what you're after. So put your dick away. All right, all 12 of you in my brain. If you want any more details, I'm shunning you to the back of my anus. He really went out of his way to seem comfortable with this topic. That's all you're gonna get from now. Okay, thank you, suggestion. He's doing a good job here. A commendable performance of, I don't give a shit. Uh -huh. All right, so b people are saying don't do it. Okay, thank you, we'll talk to her. Remember what I said. Freight train of... Well, if she means nothing to you, then you don't even care, so... You're gonna take off now. Well, that, that worked really well. Okay, what have you got to say, Kim? That went well, right? 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 Officer, what was that? <laughs> you mean the sweating and the fidgeting when you mentioned her name? Yes. And the sort of quivering jello thing with the eye? Yes. Yes. I think I know that woman. The victim? Is there something I should know before we talk to her? Yes. Whatever you do, don't say the first thing. I met her in the hallway after I woke up. I tried to hit on her. I met her in the hallway after I woke up. Understood. You were not in good shape on Monday. She knows I didn't remember being a cop. Okay, that's manageable. I tried to hit on I her. I tried to hit on her. Understood. She said I'm gonna have to interrogate her later, and it's going to suck for me. It is. This would have been good to know before. Oh, God. It didn't come up. It should have. Anything else? I didn't rape her. What you're saying is, you raped her? What? Ice is forming on the inside of your chest. No! no, no I no! said I didn't know! No! Then, don't ever say that again. What else? <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, okay, let's move on. You'll be alright, officer. This is nothing. Is it, though? Nothing? You're still in for a bumpy ride here. Yeah. Try not to mess it up. I should have listened to Rhetoric. I'm sorry, Rhetoric. He's internally screaming right now. Okay, yes, okay. He is. Let's do one more thing before we sign off for the night. We need to talk to her. We need to at least start it. How bad can it be? Oh, jeez. Uh -uh. I know. I know it's not going to be good, no matter, no matter what happens. So let's at least peek in for a second. The door is closed. Who is it? Tired. Controlled. This is the police. Can we come in? Come on up. The door is open. I'm drying my hair. Sounds like it's coming from upstairs somewhere. You could snoop around before going up. All right. Mm-hmm. Just clean up your bottles if you don't mind. <laughs> Been here a while. Snoopy, Snoopy. This medicine cabinet is full of wares. Sheets of pills haphazardly stacked one on top of the other. There's also a toothbrush somewhere in there. Why it's are we looking at the toothbrush? Quite a lot. Pharmaceuticals line the shelves. Sheet upon sheet of pill bottle next to pill bottle. Acetylic acid, APAP, eye drops, blood thinners. Quite the collection in here. Anything of note? Uh, bottles. Uh, Pill bottles rattle like bones as you search the cabinet. Paracetamol, histoperidol, something in a foreign language you can't read. I can't be Behind good. them, an unusually shaped nasal spray. Its label reads Nacra. 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 This is used to treat opioid overdoses. Uh -huh. Always handy to have around. Nacra, opioid antagonist. Interesting. That's used for diamorphine overdoses. You could say he's on the lookout. Pill sheets. Among some foreign, probably Mycenaean or Gottwaldian. Okay, electrochemistry. Now it's your time to shine. Find. God. What do you find? This is going Let's to find take it. a little know-how. Let me check and uh, we'll... go ahead and. I can't change my inventory while I'm in this menu. Well, let's just go for it then. A bright yeah! yeah. 
Preptide stepped on it in sunny, happy letters. Jack Jackpot, pot. baby. That's the stuff you're looking for. Your palms begin to sweat just the hole in that little plastic container. What's so exciting about this orange bottle? It's speed, man. Just it's what you look speed. Oh, oh we got speed. Extra amphetamine. And talk about psychological disorders. Take it in secret? Oh, God. Scientifically advanced uh, trucker speed. No, we don't want to become a drug cop. Lieutenant, I also see a brand called Preptide. Preptide. A euphemism for pharmaceutical amphetamine. Prescription speed. The fuck are you waiting for? Let's get super fucking preppy. <laughs> super fucking preppy. No. I really don't want people knowing I'm in here, let alone taking shit. Come on, Kim. We're done. Uh, okay, you stay in there, Kim. Let's leave go. Leave Kim in the bathroom. Help. Oh. Where is she? Uh. She's drying her hair in the rain. Gotcha. You weren't drying your hair at all. All right, here we go. Welcome to the roof. Her hair is still slick from the shower. Below her silvery jumpsuit, an athletic young body, built long and lean. I'm sorry for the mess down there. The cleaning lady hasn't come by in days. I'm beginning to wonder if she ever will. Nice view you got here. It's much nicer now. Where the dead body used to hang. Clearly visible uh, from Well, me. yeah, yeah, I mean... But no longer. Just doing my job, eventually. Thank you for that, officers. True. Uh, so you mentioned a cleaning lady. I think I need one. Oh, yes. Legends of room number one have made their way around the building. Oh, great. They say a portal to hell has opened in there. Dis it has. Disco Infernum. They also say that's why the yeah. <laughs> of the Infernum. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. I'm a detective from Precinct 57. I believe you have already met my colleague from Precinct 41. Have I ever? This is the fabled cop of the apocalypse. I'm fabled, really? Although, if I remember correctly, <laughs> there are still some centuries to go. Very anticlimactic. I'm disappointed it's dragging out like this. What a farce. I know. What now? Miss, we are investigating the murder of the man down there. The people who put him there have asked us to talk to you. Oh, I see. Ah, breakthrough. What was it? Ace is low. Ooh. What could she be thinking of? It's hard to say. Her shoulders are relaxed. Her eyes on the cigarette. Nice room you got here. Yeah. It's pretty deluxe. What are you doing here in the Whirling and Rags? I'm wintering. How long have I'm you been I'm wintering. Here? About four months. I came in November. Why here? Here in the Whirling, here in Martinez, or here in Ravishol? Here in Martinez. Keep in the middle. I heard this is where the washed up disco has things go. Oh. Nah, this is a sassy town. It's where the future of dance lies. If you say so, officer. If you say so. Uh, I have other questions for you. Okay. Who? Oh, ugh. <laughs> ugh. Watching herself reflected in the bedroom window, tall and sparkling and draped in smoke. Yeah, uh, well. They tell us you were, you know, yeah. It's a bit early in the morning for right, isn't it? Actually, it's already afternoon. Is it? It's not the morning. It is afternoon. Time flies, man. So were you? Yeah. I'm gonna go with not raped. I don't want to say that shit about him. By him, she must mean the victim. Tell them it's not my style. They'll have to, you know, if they want to jazz up the charges, they'll have to get someone more, uh, rapeable. Huh. Disgustingly, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. By they. She means the Hardy Boys. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then it's that Elizabeth bitch. She's like, nah, you're too ugly to garner any sympathy. 
Uh-huh. Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Not explicitly, but I understood what they meant. It wouldn't hurt to spice things up a bit. Some assault and battery, sexual assault maybe. It was clear the latter would be spicier. Did I just ask you to spice things up for us? Pretty much. Wow. Warming them. What did happen between you and the victim? We partied. Wait, yeah. Party? Where have I heard that before? A lot of partying going on. Clearly! Everyone else has had more sex than me! From Titus. <laughs> About her and Titus's relationship. That's where you heard it. You're kind of partying. The, part, the kind that I do? With all due respect, sir, I think we partied a little harder than that. Ooh. Harder than this? I didn't know it was physically possible. Oh, it is. You're still alive. Am I? You know, I'm not quite sure. What did you do when you parted? We drank, sir. A lot. For weeks, basically. We had that effect on each other. We made each other drink harder. That's why I liked him. What else? Stimulants. Speed also has that effect. Making you drink harder. And then drinking harder makes you do more speed. It's quite the combination. I drink hard. So we I can do speed. So really? I can drink more. Oh my god. <laughs> so I can do more speed. Were feelings involved? <laughs> A little. The drugs were good enough and we did enough of them. How did you two meet? Downstairs. At the bar. He was on some sort of assignment. Uh, a military man, as you probably know. Had a cool, scary scar. When was this? A month ago? Something like that. Must have been hard for you, seeing him there. Oh, yes. I've had a great view. From the roof, out of the bathroom window, in my dreams. A mm. bitter cringe. It hurts. You look that hurts me, really. Kim. He takes a small step closer. You called us, the RCM. Yes. Jackpot. Aha. Uh -huh. Born in the hanging, that was you? I made it. And I would appreciate it if you didn't tell everyone. In Martinez, we call it snitching. Right, 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 right. Shh. Reporting yeah, crime but, is you know, you know didn't really want to look at my lover forever hanging there dead. If, if it's snitching, then why do it? Because I couldn't handle it anymore. Really? None of these people called. He just kept hanging there. Then they started stripping him. And then Kuno's the throwing rocks at him. Did Might you... be too cruel for anybody, for even someone who didn't even do the worst thing that we thought. Yeah. I didn't exactly So Titus is just it. down there fucking I lying. I just the mic and nicked the lend line a little. Nicked it how? With nail clippers. And I diverted some radio fuzz into it. Into the cold wire. Ah. Which landline? The one downstairs, officer. I used the whirling landline. That's some clever tampering. Simple and clever. Crossing the lines like that. So you had some idea. That was nifty. Thanks. She Jeez. looks a bit like a little girl who's just been complimented on her bike repair skills. Why go through all the trouble? I don't know, sir. It was stupid. I was drunk, too. I was probably afraid the union was listening in. Locals say they have ears Yeah. And Thank you for making the call, miss. It was the right thing to do. I didn't want to, sir. But if I hadn't, we'd still be hanging still there. Still be hanging there. All right, uh, what can you tell me about him? Name, eyes, age, I'm whatever. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Uh, okay, okay. Not okay. right now. Later, maybe. I keep seeing him. Like he is now. I can't talk about it. I don't know. Hair. Right, right, okay. Say I no know more. it's difficult, miss. Yes, yes. We can return to it later. I mean, we did kind of... Thanks kinda... for telling about us, really. We, include it. We could kind of... All right, so... Why was there a bullet in his head? Bullet? They shot him too? I think she deserves to know that if she yeah. seems to have feelings for this guy. I'm not picking up on any theater craft here, sir. The pause is sincere. She didn't know. No. I thought that she may have shot him and they were covering up. You know, no, I didn't suspect because... that at all. But if this is genuine, then who knows? They stripped his clothes and they shot him? You mean after they hanged him? I'm confused. Sorry. So am I. 
Were you aware that he had also been shot? Yes. Things are starting to go a little over my head here. I thought he was hanged. I was not present when they did it. I don't know what happened. I just know what they told me. And Sylvie, the bartender. This is beginning to get confusing for you too. And we don't like that. R Where was she last Sunday night? Where were you when this happened? Cowering. I was cowering downstairs with I think Titus did Sylvie. it because he was jealous. R R what did they hang him for if not rape? He had something to do with the strike. One has been roiling since I got here. Rotten timing. But you probably know all about it. Yeah. And his role in the strike was what? I think he was in a security detail. He was ex-military, worked for Wild Pines, and against the Union. We didn't discuss work much, if you know what I mean. But I understood it was dangerous. And they lynched him for it? She nods. Hmm. All right. Last question. How'd the Hardy Boys know you? They're frequent guests downstairs. They have a booth for Union members. They're probably down there now. And how'd you meet? Over drinks. It's been a long, boring winter. Did you, uh... <clears throat> party? A little, yeah. Like you partied <laughs> with the deceased? No, not as hard. Mm. Uh-huh. Oh, ah, ah, hmm. I'm sorry to have to ask this, but have you had a physical relationship with any of the Hardy Boys? I have. Which one? Which ones, sir? I don't remember precisely. Titus, obviously. But as I said, it's been a long winter. Well, thank you for telling us all of this, miss. She breathes a silvery sigh of relief and weariness. The air on the roof feels humid. Should we head by downstairs, officer? We may have things to discuss there. As he says so, you feel the young woman looking at you and get a feeling you can't quite put your finger on. A suspicion? Hmm? Wait a moment. I had something else before we go. A little thing. She nods. Silvery cigarette fumes disappear into her mouth. Hmm. Uh. Well, there's no assault. What's your name, I guess? Clausier Amandou. Same name that Titus gave you. It sounds Oranese, as does her accent. Right. Her birthmarks also signal Oranie. You don't know Just why, like but the girls deceased. Tend to come speckled with them. Hmm. Are you from there? Are you from Oranie? Right, sir. Vredefort, Republic of Oranie. I guess you could say I am an Oranese expatriate. How old are you? I'm 28. All right, thank you. That's all. The record, so official. Let's return to this later. Why not? I'll be here until 11 p.m. drinking coffee, most likely. Oh. All right, ace is low. Ace is low. For the rest of the world, the ace is low is just some cool Revachol thing. Politically neutral. In Revachol, it still holds revolutionary connotations. Also, have you looked at Lieutenant Kitsuragi's clothes? He wears a bomber jacket, just like the ones worn by aerostatic brigades. And those cargo pants look like they could fit tools for hot fixing your burning aerostatic. You should ask him about this. So we get more empathy and more esprit de corps. We could do with some empathy. I want to unlock something else just in case we'll need it. All right, Kim, let's talk for a sec. Looks like we have more to discuss with those so-called hardy boys. Half their reasoning just went out the window. You think this will make them co uh, cooperate? Nothing will make them respect the RCM, but it will disrupt the game they prepared for us. We just tripped off one layer of whatever it is. Her decision to not corroborate their story was definitely not part of the plan. Why did she tell us all of that? What else could she have done? Lie? Right. She saw there was no way to lie and get away with it. I'm not sure she had to lie. I wouldn't have known. If not you, then me. It was a smart move from her. 
So she seems candid. You think so? Being candid is the best way to lie. The appearance of candor with some facts thrown in draws attention away from whatever one chooses to omit. She may be trying to control the pace of the investigation. Anyway, we should move. I suspect our inquiries will bring us back here soon enough. Couldn't agree with you more there, Mr. Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant Man. I want to definitely test that volition thing, though, and we're shit when it comes to volition, of course. I have some clothes and all that, but we'll come back to her later, I'm sure, when we get a couple of extra clues. Right. So next time, we're going to probably interview her, interview the Hardy Boys again, maybe talk to Everard Claire once or twice more, because maybe he'd like to know that there are some mercenaries that are looking to kill every single last one of his union guys if nothing is done. That not, 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 yeah, not the world to do. Well. There's still some more leads to follow, and maybe we should do something about that body, too, in the meantime. So, we'll see you next week for more Disco Elysium. Thanks for watching.